guys, welcome back to another episode of Horizon Forbidden West. We just got done helping Morlin with his hot air balloon. Uh, we crashed, had to find the park, killed Stormbird. That was fun. And I think we're going to go to do, uh, potentially, uh, what you call it? What is this? Oh, let's call it hidden. Okay, we're going to go do, um, a cauldron now. This one. No, we can't. We can, oh, yeah, we can do Moo. I'm going to do this one. That's our first one. Because we haven't done many of these cauldrons at all, period, but this will be the first one. So we got a scrounger. That's it. It's the scrounger. Oh, we have two of them. This will be very easy to kill. It's only really one shot. These are always fun. Should be able to hack this open. So major vibrations on that. Alright, let's go. Good exit to oh yeah we're good. There it is. It, uh, seems story enough. Uh, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Here we go again. Oh wow. Continue on. What's this way? I know it was this way, but we're gonna do it anyways. Even scared. Oh, yeah, these machines. All right, the center should be. I don't know how far the center is from here. It's being moved to the back of this corner. That has to be the Be able to climb these vents if I time it 
better. I didn't know. All right, we are here. Of course, you could do there. What you're doing, sneaky little devil? This way. Uh, is this the battle arena? Take out the other hand first. Watch your hand. This ain't gonna get your hand. Here's the first hand. I shot the wrong hand. But surely. I should be able to hit you right on this middle carriage. Not even touching the thumbsticks. I'm so scared. I'm not very good at coming, coming like with puzzles and stuff. I made it this far. Just have to hold on a little longer. when they trade. Okay. Sketchy, sketchy, sketchy. Oh, 
pass over. Metal carriers. Okay. Some rough stuff, man. What do I gotta fight? I've never seen machines like that. At least it's deactivated for now. Going down. There's the core. Now I just need to access it. Or override. Guess I'm not getting those overrides without a fight. Uh, he, he jumped into that. has been upgrading the cauldron security grid. I disappeared. Dang. Couldn't grab him. Should be able to override more machines with this. What I get. A borrower. Scrounger. Grazer. All the lame ones. Scrapper. Fanghorn. Wide Maw. Who knew it was such a good idea to make it dangerous? Oh, that's such a good idea. Let's figure out how hard IO it is. How hard is 
Coulter and I are only 22. Okay, that's not bad. Let's let's do Iota next. This crevice is massive. As if I know where this leads. Most likely the cauldron, but let's go. Here we go. This must be the cauldron I can get to remove. It looks damaged. The earthquake must have hit here too, but it looks too tight. What is that? How am I supposed to get over that? I think I'm stuck. Yeah, I got stuck. I don't know. What even happened? It just does that. I don't know why. It goes this way. This one, see what happens. I need to jump when we cross. These things keep moving closer together. One jump might be enough to get me to the next one. So far, so good. Nothing sketch. Alright, we made it. Alright, so far, so good. Oh, we haven't explored none of this thing yet. scary yeah nothing scared me that well, looks like you can get me up to the vent now we wait for it to open Alright, 
Made it. That was fairly easy. What's this? Making tall necks. We're gonna fight something big, probably. Oh, the head fell off. Well, that can't be good. Did I get the tail? Yeah, the tail must be important. Well, actually, fairly quick. Leap Lasher, okay. Flint Hawk, okay. Lance Horn, this was kind of suck. Long Leg. Claw Strider, yes! Okay. Sky Drifter. Bellowback. Ravager. Snap Maul, okay. Rollerback, okay. All right. There seems to be a tall neck blocking this platform. Thanks, tall neck. Looks like there's room underneath the core. Maybe I can squeeze through. Does it? Yeah, I'm going to go in the water. So far, some nice, quite easy. So the long leg is in there. These vents should get me across. Right. How? I don't understand. I don't get it, bro. I don't know. Am I blind?
Oh yeah, I did that. And it jumped me. Find me. Oh, this is all the heads of the tall man. Getting closer. No. Not quite it's close to now. I'm supposed to follow it and I can I jump on it. I'm supposed to follow it and jump on it, or am I not supposed to do that? That's some really good stuff I left back there. I could have got the stuff, but I don't really care. go. We fixed him. Got me tall neck. Bro, oh, this is amazing. That's good to breathe some fresh air again. You wasn't too bad either. 
Oh, this is just a whole new tall neck, like literally. Oh, wow. At least we got a new tall neck. This one's rough because it's Ravagers right there. Alright, we're gonna go do the. this one. There should be goose eggs on this island if I can find the nests. I better find those eggs. Oh, that was fairly easy. Explode in a big ball of fire. That's one. Thanks for trying to kill me. Piece of trash. I can grab this from my stash later. There must be another nest. All right, we got those ones. Oh, there's one out there. Up here. That's another egg. There's one down here, and I think one on the. Got one. That's all the eggs. Time to get back to Salt Bite. All right, let's go back. This should be the last thing for the episode because it's very fairly quick. So. Ready. It's time for us to prepare the chef's special. How yep. did you know I had your ingredients? Every cook worth their salt can read people as well as they can cuts of meat. Fakata, right. let's work our magic. That's one way to do it, I guess. May the courage of your stomach bring you victory in battle. We'll be here whenever you desire more delicacies. And your next meal will be on the house. Nice. So, Hakata. All right. If that Nora will <laughs> risk the chef special, I will try it. But if that's so you get for it. weapons, I forgot if it was trash or not. Yeah, it was garbage. It's oh, your whining that turns stomachs around here, Hakata. Let's do some fun. Let's do right? one game of strike. Oh. Looks like an interesting game. What are the rules? A newcomer. Sorry, kid. I don't have time to teach you. Okay. I could always go to chain scrape. I bet the Alceron can teach me the game. Alright, guess guess not. Alright, let's yeah, let's go do this for fun. Way over here. Alright. This could be fun. I haven't played it. What to find out if it sucks or not. Or if I'm really bad at it. I don't know. Hey Ray. Come to revel in some strike, sister? Let I me guess. I was just passing by. I mm, first timer, huh? Don't worry about it. I'll go easy on you. You got any pieces? Uh no. Well, aren't you in luck then? I got an extra set. A Tanak original straight out of the forbidden west okay sit, sit, let's see what sit. they got you threw it in a hot spark i'll give you something special if you win it on my boards too Ooh, let's go i have absolutely no idea what i'm doing but it could be fun so let's see if i suck or not all right let's start off simple Okay. The Tanakh like to say that machine strike is a game of pure strike. Oh, what machine's gonna battle we what machine? A set of pieces. Okay. Each piece represents a kind of machine. Okay. And each machine is worth a different number of victory points. Okay. 
And to win the game, you'll need to gain seven victory points by destroying the opponent's machines. Okay. It can be tricky remembering the details of every oh, machine. Oh, tight. This machine does not have a skill. Keep track of them. You see that number on the top right corner? VP, yeah. Victory points. That notes also tell you how far a piece can move. Okay. How powerful their attacks are. Okay. Health and the distance they can strike from. Okay. And of course, their health. Yeah, okay. Okay, that's enough for now. Let's just play. I'll explain the rest as we go. I own the board, so I get to choose who goes first. Oh. Since this is your first time, I'll let you go. Oh, great. Usually you get to choose which pieces to set on the board, but this will do for now. Pick up that machine piece to your right mm -hmm, and move it forward. And remember, each machine can only move a certain distance. Take a look at your notes if you need a reminder. Easy enough, huh? Now, you get to move two machines each round. Move that machine forward. It's all part of the learning process. Perfect. There's not much else to do for now, so just end your turn. We're forging I didn't know how to move it all right there. I thought Let I had to. Let me move my pieces here. And we're back to you. This time, why don't you try attacking one of my pieces? Try with that machine on your right first. Now move the when perform you'll be testing your ma a machine's combat power is a combination of the terrain your machine is standing on okay. and its own attack power. This board only has grassland terrain, which has no effect on a machine's combat power. Okay. And your current machine has 2 points of attack power. So in total, your machine's combat power equals 2 points. Okay. Since my machine isn't the one attacking, it has 0 points of attack power. And just like your machine, it's not affected by grassland terrain. Mm. So right now, the difference in combat power between the two machines is two points. This means your machine can do two points of damage to my machine. Mm -hmm. Did you get all that? Yes, ma'am. Attack. Knew you were a smart one. Finish. Not yeah, get any punches, huh? Now grab that second machine of yours. See how your machine can't move close enough to attack mine? You can make your machine sprint. That lets it move one sp Try it out. Downside to sprinting is that your machine can no longer attack. Now some players like to take a risk and overcharge their machine in cases like this. Overcharging lets you attack after a sprint, but it will damage your machine's health by two points. You're gonna have to overcharge that machine to land a hit on mine. Yeah. I don't want to Overcharge your machine to attack. That's but about I didn't it for your wanna. I didn't want to do that. Now, I'll let you in on a neat trick. That machine of yours, the one closest to me, grab a hold of it. Same as in the wilds, machines have both armored points and weak points. You can see them marked on the pieces. Yeah. Blue shows where they're on. Hit them there, and you'll do some damage, but now red shows the machine's weak points. Hit here, let me show you. Rotate that piece so your machine faces mine. Now let that machine. Oh, get the she goes, and there's your first victory points. You don't have seven of them yet, so let's. Your machine attacked mine, but hasn't moved yet. Go ahead and move downwards towards my remaining piece. You've already attacked a machine and moved your piece. But if you overcharge and by the look of your machine's health, you'd be sacrificing your piece to defeat mine. But sometimes overcharge your machine. Hey, you wreck. Now, because your machine was knocked out at the same time as mine, we both get the victory points our machines are worth. Good news is, since you're the one attacking, you're going to receive your victory points before I do. Which means you can reach the coveted seven victory points first. 
Also, I killed all your machines. Can be the best way to but, but I also have another piece too, now, so. You'll notice you didn't get quite up to seven victory points this time, but you did destroy all my pieces. Mm -hmm. That means you're the winner. Oh, let's go. Mm, 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 so mm. Hard, Scrub. Just remember to always check for the best terrain to attack from. You'd be surprised the advantage you can gain over an opponent like that. Yeah. I know it saved my behind in a game or two. Oh, let's go. And remember that. Oh, before I forget. My pieces. These are all my spare pieces. I want the savior of Meridian to have them. It's a small set to be sure, but it should be enough to get you in on any strike games you find out there. You might even fancy looking out for them strike carvers. They've got all kinds of unique pieces that can turn a game in your favor. Bro, this game is so in-depth. materials to craft you one. Or you might find them in the wilds if you're lucky. You know, I've lost my fair share of pieces after a night of machine hunting or brew hopping. Oh, no need to thank me. Always a pleasure to help out new strike players. All right. Now, if you feel like playing a real game, I've got plenty of other boards. I could even teach you a few more tricks if you're up for it. Okay. Thanks. I'll think about it. I'm playing Strike for the next four episodes. <laughs> Let's just Let's do this play. for fun. It's all yours. Time to make my move. Okay. You're up, Red. Oh my god, get wrecked. A single machine left. Bro, you just got destroyed, bro. Well, that's done now. I won! Oh, but I'll play you again if you want. Guess luck's not on your side today, Red. Oh my god, I suck. Yeah, I'm dead. That's the game. God, Lee, do I suck? Good luck. Right. Yeah, I'm dead. Oh, I won. Probably shouldn't sound so surprised. I don't want to go first, dude. That's the game. I, I really revenge. don't know. Finally, I figured it out. Lost. <laughs> Jeez, man. It took forever. Right. I think that'll do it for today's episode. Um, thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Later.